Are you eating Doritos right now as we speak? Have you ever been so curious about why they're so delicious or where their origins truly come from? What could their advertisements really be trying to tell us and what else could they possibly have planned? Here are things you must know about Doritos. Number 12. What's in Doritos? Doritos are a tortilla chip made from ground corn, vegetable oil, and salt, basically. Doritos means little bits of gold in Spanish, probably from the golden color of the tortilla chips. Other various seasonings and cheeses involved in the making of them. Artificial food colorings are used such as yellow 6, yellow 5, and red 40. Partially hydrogenated soybean oil isn't the best for you, and as you begin to read through the ingredients, you realize it's much more complicated than just simply tortilla chips and powdered cheese. Doritos actually changed the way they make their chips, making the edges round and not pointy. The ones that were pointy were poking through the bags and causing problems. Not only that, people would complain that they would accidentally stab the roofs of their mouth on the pointy edges. Dangerous stuff, people. Later on, we'll discuss some of the other ingredients inside that might make these slightly more addictive than other foods. Number 11. Mysterious Origins No one knows exactly where the idea for Doritos came from. Some claim the idea was from Disneyland when someone noticed Fritos covered in nacho cheese inside a trash can. But this is just a myth. The more believable story goes that Disneyland was once home to a Mexican restaurant known as Casa de Fritos. Someone began to save the leftover tortillas and then fry them into chips in the 1960s. This was an easy way to recycle leftover tortillas that no one was eating and still get some profit. Some bigger corporate companies began to notice the tortilla chips and ways to make them more delicious. They saw that using corn to make chips as opposed to potatoes was actually much cheaper. The company began making the chips supplied to other Mexican restaurants around the country and eventually the world. Number 10. Made it to space. How many other snack foods do you know that have actually ventured off into outer space? That's right, not a whole lot. In 2012, as a part of a Super Bowl commercial, Doritos got a big bag of Doritos 6,000 feet up into the air with the help of a weather balloon, like we see here in this photo. If you really want your product to do well, you gotta send it to outer space somehow. Here we can clearly see the curvature of the Earth, or was this distorted by Doritos space scientists using their fisheye lenses because they also have to keep the secret behind the flat Earth? Are Doritos in on the plot to give everyone the illusion that the Earth is actually round too? Those sneaky Doritos, who knows? Number 9. Washed up on the shore In November of 2006, a terrible storm raged off the coast of the United States, taking down a cargo container carrying a large amount of Doritos. A few days later, residents living near the outer banks of North Carolina awoke to find their beaches covered in thousands of packages of Dorito chips. It almost seems as if it was some kind of offering from the Doritos God or something. The snack food was simply scattered over a half mile down the beach shore. It was one of the largest Dorito spills in the history of mankind. Human beings and seagulls raced to the beach to scavenge for the cheesy goodness. Some residents were slightly annoyed that their neighbors seemed to be more concerned with getting free junk food rather than clean up the mess. Could this have been a clever marketing ploy and maybe the storm happened on purpose? Were they looking for guinea pigs to test out one of their new Doritos flavors or something? Number 8. Delicious for various animals We all know Doritos are delicious for humans, but what about other animals? Animals such as raccoons have been known to wreak havoc on anywhere where Doritos were not properly secured. This image here was taken in Houston, Texas, which shows dozens of raccoons flocking for some Doritos. Videos of squirrels have shown them thoroughly enjoying the treat. And you might as well try to use it for hunting bait, since probably any animal out there will eat them. Those typically seem like animals who will eat anything, but what is this? Whatever the heck these crustaceans are, please keep them away from our Doritos. How could such a bizarre underwater creature be attracted to the smell of nacho cheese? They're clearly nibbling through the bag, and they won't stop until they get their cheesy fix. Maybe they tried them out on the beach, and haven't been the same since. Once they get a good taste of Doritos, they may decide that they never want to return to the ocean ever again. Number 7. Super Bowl Commercials Doritos has spent millions of dollars for advertising during the Super Bowl, and we're going to be expecting a pretty hilarious commercial again this year. Many of them are packed with the most action you can possibly expect, with no production expense spared. One commercial that would seem to support our last theory involves a goat who seemingly enjoys Doritos just a little bit too much. Could this have actually been based on a true story? 
Considering the fact that it costs about $10 million for one minute ad, these commercials simply can't afford to be anything less than perfect. $10 million can really buy a lot of things. During a day when over 28 million pounds of chips are consumed, it's their biggest day of the year. Marketing has certainly been a big priority for the company. Number 6. Different Types of Doritos There are types of Doritos out there that you could only possibly imagine. It's almost too much to handle at some point. We're all probably familiar with the original nacho cheese flavor we've seen at stores or the Blue Ranch flavor. You better believe there's a flavor for just about anything you can think of, ranging from Doritos that have been banned from schools for being too hot, to clam chowder Doritos in Japan. One student actually managed to stop breathing due to extreme spiciness of Doritos roulette. She claimed her throat was burning for a long time and felt nauseous for hours. She turned out to be okay. But later on, tests were done to the Doritos roulette chips, which determined that they were 10 times spicier than jalapenos. This flavor was discontinued shortly after. You have to be wondering what they're using as for ingredients for flavors such as Mountain Dew flavored Doritos or the late night all nighter cheeseburger flavoring. Or even this one here, labeled X13D Experimental Flavor. Approach with caution, people. Let us know in the comments section if you've tried any crazy Dorito flavors because there's a lot out there and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 5. Doritos Locos Tacos There are so many different types of Doritos that they're beginning to sneak their way onto other foods and it's important to be aware of this. Not too long ago, Taco Bell Doritos collaborated to engineer the first taco that would include a taco shell made from Doritos. How could they create such a deadly combination? Other products made out of Doritos were considered such as Doritos Taquitos, Doritos Burritos, and even Doritos Nachos. Sounds like they were trying to go too far. But eventually, it was chosen that Doritos would be for the taco shell and to see how it goes. According to the man in charge at Doritos for creating this, he stated that there were some prototype shells that would break as soon as you touch them. This photo we see here to the left is a prototype shell that broke too easily and the one to the right shows a finalized product. People were then lined up on the streets and drove miles just to try this when it first came out. Some claimed to have completely been hooked after the first bite and orange fingers lasted for weeks. Number 4. Flammable Okay, so what if Doritos can be set on fire? You should really avoid this life hack the next time you go camping. Imagine you're with a group of friends and you're running low on a campfire. Then you decide to throw some Doritos in the flame. Good job, you just killed the mood by making the entire campsite smell like a cheesy smoke. No one will ever go hiking with you ever again. But we suppose if you were extremely desperate for fire, you could light them. If something can be easily set aflame, should you still eat it though? What kind of oil are they using that they aren't telling us about? The oils and the carbohydrates are a perfect mix to be fuel for a flame. Are there any other possible reasons why a corporate company would want to feed people food that's combustible? Number 3. Advertising to Aliens Although this might sound a little bit far-fetched, we've already seen how Doritos can be sent into the cosmos, and now messages are being relayed to outer space. Was the bag that was sent to outer space possibly a delivery order? In June of 2008, radars in the Arctic Circle were sent into outer space targeting the Ursa Major Constellation. A solar system here contains a Goldilocks zone, which could possibly sustain intelligent life. The message would need to be decoded from binary code 42 light years away, and hopefully won't bring on an alien invasion in search of our Dorito supply. Also, let's keep in mind that the radar message was sent from Svalbard, Norway, which is home to the Global Seed Vault. Number 2. The Doritos Effect If you think about it, as time goes by, corn no longer really has to have any flavor anymore in order for it to be edible. With the various different flavored seasonings constantly in demand, corn could be theoretically tasteless and no one would even notice. Masked by the combination of mouth-watering smells and flavors, the corn needs the least amount of focus by the company. The Dorito Effect was written in the book known as The Dorito Effect by Mark Schatzer. In modern times, corn has been genetically bred to primarily be pest resistant and also to provide bountiful yields. Initially, Doritos were only tortilla chips with just salt, but those didn't sell too well until the addition of various seasonings. This seemingly has led to a lack of corn with flavor and nutrients and explains how people will still eat it because of companies like Doritos making seasonings so available. Anyways, many were critical about his book, which seemed a little bit radical, but he does seem to make very interesting points. Number 1. Why do we keep coming back? 
we know you want to jump into this hot tub right now and grab yourself a big handful of Doritos. It doesn't matter how cheesy your fingers get. Just like the thought of Melissa Risso in a bathtub, the desire for eating more Doritos will seemingly always come back into your mind. Whether it's all that cheesy goodness or that subtle Cool Ranch flavoring, it's just sure to make your mouth water. Two acids are combined in the seasoning, with one being lactic acid and the other being citric acid. This combination triggers the production of saliva and the impulse to eat. Even though you're trying to eat healthy, you can't control the urge to get into this hot tub right now and get a huge mouthful of Doritos. Any suggestions on future videos? Let us know in the comments section and maybe we'll feature your video next.